Hi everyone and welcome to WebDev Tutorials. In this video I will show you how to make the centered navigation bar with the hover effect and the jumbotron section with the intro, title, the button and the logo. Okay, so as always we need CSS folder, images folder. For the background, we'll need an image at least big enough, so 1600 by 964 pixels. We need a logo. And just create a CSS file. Link it to your index.html file. Then we need to link the font I'm using font from Google. Then we need to link a bootstrap CDN, the minified version, the font awesome as well. We need a jQuery slim version and bootstrap JS file. So simply this once you can find just type in on Google bootstrap CDN and then you will get the links from there. Okay, so the first thing we need is the navigation bar. So let's go to getbootstrap.com and just find it here on the left menu. I will use this one. So I'll just copy simply here. Okay, now we create the section with the ID name of header. And we paste navigation just inside there. Next, we remove navigation bar light and the BG light. And just add the fixed top. We remove um, this section here. This is for the logo, so we don't need because it, it will be actually within the Jumbotron section. Okay, so we just in, we need to name the data target. So nav bar nav alt markup. Just copy, and we're going to replace. Let's copy this. Replace here. Okay, this falls navigation this is fine okay so the next one is the hamburger icon we will use the one from uh, font awesome so we go to font awesome website just search for bars Let's just get this one copy here just paste it here Save it. Next. Just name your pages. Just remove the disabled. So we need the same here as well. Just change it. Now this will be remove active. Just save. So we need to center this one. We can do simply by adding MX 
Punkte. Refresh. Nice. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so we've added everything here. So the next thing we need the jumbotron. Simply create a diff with the class of jumbotron. And the text center. And within there, another div with class of intro. Then we'll include the image. H1 tags. I'll just copy from here. Paste it. And the last thing will be the button. Let's type button. Give it class of BTN, BTN outline. Light. Save it. Okay. So now we need to include the background. So we go to our style CSS. So first we need to remove the margin and the padding for the whole page. Just margin zero pixels. Up to zero. And the padding zero as well. And I'll add my font family name. Now let's target Jumbotron. Just add the background image. Next, the height. So 80 viewport height. background size of cover and the background position center and the color will be white and the last one border radius zero pixels important Just save it so now we style the h1 tags, so Gematron h1, just add the margin, 30 pixels, 0, font size, 30 pixels, and the line height of 1.5. And just let's push it a bit more down because it's a bit too long. So intro, padding top, and with 60 pixels. Okay. Let's just make the logo smaller. So intro IMG. Okay, looks better. Okay, so now we're going to style the navigation. So let's target navbar. 
Upper and mouth. Links. Just add the color. Color will be white. Just add important. Margin zero. 20 pixels. Margin top. 30 pixels. Save it. Nice. Okay, next will be now bar toggle. Let's do again the color. Color will be white, important. We remove the border, so border none, important, and we remove the outline, so none, important, save it, now we style the, the now bar icon, so now bar toggler FA, Color white, font size of 26 pixels. Let's just save. Let's see. That's nice. Next thing we'll add the uh, Hover effect. So nav, nav link, target nav link, hover. Change the font weight to 600, so it's more thicker. Border bottom, one pixel solid, white. And the margin bottom minus one pixels and the next thing is the button so target header id btn so the border one pixel, solid, white, so at the margin top of 20 pixels, padding, 6 pixels, 26 pixels, and font size of, let's give it font size of 17, pixel. save, thing we need to change is let's see if we're missing something so let's just add the break we need to break somewhere here so let's just add breaking Now we need to add the background here and just remove this effect. So let's go back here. So we need to add the media queries. Media on the screen length. Right? 
max width of 1000 pixels. To be target navbar. Just add the background color. Be RGBA. We'll be adding like transparent black color. Save. Then we need to target the link. Just add the margin, zero pixel, five pixel, zero, and 17 pixels. The margin top, 30 pixels. Save. Okay, so now we need to remove this hover effect. So we target the nav link. Hover. And just do the border, border button. Done. We can remove as well if you would like font weight to a normal size. I'll just leave it as it is. And let's just style the intro. Add a bit of padding. Actually, we decrease the padding 130 pixels. And then next, we do the smaller size, so 600 pixels. 600 pixels. Just remove this. Let's just do Jumbotron H1 tag. Make it smaller. Let's do font size 26 pixels. The line height of 1.7. The intro give padding top 100 pixels. And the last thing is the image. Let's see how. Just need a bit smaller. So target the image IMG. Just put the width 200 pixels. Padding top 50 pixels. Save it. Okay, so this is how it looks now. Everything seems to be working well. So you can use this one for landing page, for normal page, simply just by adding another sections here. Okay. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful. Thank you. See you to the next video. Bye.